Good morning, Panthers. Today's date is January 6th. In today's show, we'll be featuring a story on protocols at sporting events. I'm Devin. And I'm Garrett. And this is GEMS, Gems TV. TV. Campus Pride will be meeting during 7th and 8th grade lunch this semester. Our first meeting will be on Wednesday, January 19th in room 200. Please see Ms. Hamasaki for more information. With our new gym and facilities, there have been a few issues. Here is Nick with the video. This year, because of the sports and the new gymnasium, there has been issues that have been caused at home games. Let's see what those issues are and how they can be resolved. At our home games in our new, brand new facility slash gym, <clears throat> we've had multiple problems, but they're not huge that we can't overcome. <clears throat> A few of them was the usage of the, of the bathrooms, usage of entering and exiting the building, and then how and when to move around the gym. When there's games going on, uh, because the size of our court is not much uh, smaller than the size of the gym, moving around the outside is, uh, there's appropriate times to do that. And then when you enter and exit as students from our gym, when's the appropriate time and how are you acting in the gym? So we had a, we're definitely going through some growing, um, but it's nothing that we can't figure out. As more sports start this year, we would not want more problems to happen. Here are some ways that we can learn from our mistakes and that we can fix them. I think some like uh, we've talked about is uh, possibly doing some videos through Gems uh, TV. I think that's a great uh, place. Others is through our uh, announcements and then uh, through assemblies and just getting used to being in that facility and how you're supposed to act in there. We haven't gone in there all that much this year as a school, but having those conversations while we're together, I think is also important. Hopefully we don't get limitations to our home games coming later this year. I'm a reporter Nicholas Gilding with photographer Tyler Sally Brown for GEMS TV. Attention seventh graders. There will be an info meeting for the 2023 East Coast trip on Thursday, January 13th. The meeting will be right after school in room 105. If you are registered or if you are interested in hearing more information about the trip, please attend this meeting. Any questions, stop by to see Mr. Newman. And now it's time for sports. Girls basketball tryouts will be all week from 4 to 5.30 in the gym. The athletic packet and physical must be turned into Mrs. Freeman before typing trying out. Masks are required. If you know someone who wants to try out but is unable to attend this week, please be sure to have them contact Coach Balderas. For 7th and 8th graders, we'll be running the Intramural Volleyball League starting in two weeks. The Intramural League will be played during lunch on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. If you are interested, we will be accepting teams next week. Get a team in, off and turn it into Mr. Smith or Mr. Colson in the PE office. If you have any questions, please talk to Mr. Smith or Mr. Colson. Let's have a fun time. There will be a softball practice next Monday from 2 to 2.30 at the First Street Field. Bring cleats and a glove. Ro Roller Hockey will be hosting their first home game at GEMS with their new court. Come and check out at 3.30 today. Now back to Devin and Garrett. Meet up with LHS ALS Club on Tuesday the 6th at LHS in room 70 from 3.30 to 5. Come join us for some fun icebreakers, hot chocolate, and rasca de rais. Have a, a great, great day, day, Panthers! You know that feeling you get in the pit of your stomach when your life is about to change? It's terrifying, sure. But isn't it exciting? You may not know with certainty what lies ahead, but the truth is, that's what makes life, well, life. After all, when one cardboard box closes, 
another opens. And even when the scene in the rear view is hard to leave behind, take a deep breath, hold on tight, and remember, there's no better way to move than forward. The company's like family, from the top to the bottom, and you feel that support no matter what part of the company you're in. You feel the support of the whole family. My dad, he's worked here for 28 years. My brother, he's been working here for six years. I came out, graduated high school, waited until I was 18, saw a drop over and applied, and just kind of staying with it. The company's been huge for my whole family, and possibly maybe my kids one day. We're not a company of numbers, we're a company of people. I think it comes from, from Red Emerson. His greatest asset is the people that work for him. It's more than just working here. You know their families, you know what they do, you know their kids play baseball. It's definitely a family operation. I went to my younger brothers that also works for Sierra Pacific. I looked on the bar stool and I seen his pay stamp. I was like, wow, you're making that kind of money? He goes, yeah. And I said, well, the next time they're hiring, then you let me know. That was 14 years ago, and so that's how I got started. We treat people like family. They aren't just employees. The strength of the company is the people, number one, and that forest resource, number two. GEMS TV would like to thank our sponsors. Platinum Level, Denzel Dentistry, Sierra Pacific Industries, Rockstar Music Academy, Gold Level, Quality Sheet Metal Heating and Air, Forest House Lodge, Taylor Morrison, Anchor Pool Service, Homespun Yogurt, Eagle Plumbing, Lincoln Elite Basketball, Lincoln Softball, Park Drive Enterprises, Silver Level, Ace Body Shop and Towing, Holt of California, Amy Ridgeway, Dr. Boatman DDS, Cox HR Consulting. Thank you for watching GEMS TV.